Hello beauties, it's Fomzi here again. If this is your first time watching me, thank you for watching. And if you're returning, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below on the right and hit the notification button as well so that you'll be notified of all my videos. Also, follow me on Instagram at Fomzi Beauty. Today I'm going to be doing a first impression for the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. This is the box it came with. And this is what the color looks like. I did get the 9.5 Warm Almond. And we're going to be having first impressions today. I'm going to be doing a wear test also. So let's take a look and see what the foundation is all about. Let me just give you details on the foundation. This costs $88, but I got it on sale. So this is what you get for $88. But let's see whether it lives up to the hype. It does have, um, it does have good reviews. The coverage is a full coverage foundation. It's natural, the dry down is natural, and it's for normal and dry skin. I'm oily skin, so um, we're going to see how it performs on oily skin as well. And it's free, it says it's free of parabens and phthalates and silicone. It's also gl gluten-free. It also says this portable stick achieves versatility in application for sheer, so you can put it sheer, medium, or full coverage. It's buildable. When used as a concealer, it swiftly diminishes the look of imperfections, leaving a soft matte finish. Okay, so let's try it on and see. I'm gonna do what I normally do when I'm trying on a foundation or when I'm putting on a foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. Uh, it says is anti-blemish and mattifying. So this is my first time using this also a lot of things are gonna be the first time so so I'm go just gonna put this on my t-zone to mattify because that's where the oils normally start So while I'm waiting for that to dry, I'm going to put on a corrector on my eyes. And this is the corrector, a corrector shade from NARS to correct my under eyes. So I'll leave that for a little bit. And then I would also put some, pore minimizer as well. And that will be the professional from Benefit. So I just, I don't, I just tickle it. In. I don't you know rub it just to fill in whatever pores that you do have and give you a smooth finish so I do it like this so I'm gonna leave that now for the foundation stick not too bad and it glides smoothly I don't smell any fragrance right here I'm gonna put right here I will also put some concealer, I forgot to put a uh, corrector right here, just to smooth things out a little. I think the color is good for the perimeter of my face, but I don't know, it's kind of looking like it's too dark for the middle of my face. Nothing a concealer can't fix. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm going to be using a brush. The brush will be Morphe, a fan brush. It has no number, I don't see it. But this is what it looks like. So I'm going to try to use a fan brush for this. This looks like my skin. It's natural. It just blended right in. I do like it, but I'm going to put some more to see whether it's actually buildable to a medium or to a full, I think it's medium to a full, full coverage. So I'm just going to put some right here. I'm going to use it just to get the exact places I put it. Then right now, I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath Labs. I did get it uh, from the previous haul, the Sephora haul that I just did. As well, I did get the foundation from the haul that I just did. So this is the Pat McGrath Concealer. Had so many good things about this as well. And this is what it looks like. And I'm gonna conceal my under eye. This is meant to be a skin tone, so I'm gonna put one here, just right here, and right here. And I'm gonna put some here just to brighten up the middle of the face. And that is it. I already did my eyebrows so that it wouldn't take time and my eyeshadow. So this is what it looks like. Um, I do like the finish actually. So I'll be checking in periodically to show you how it wears on my oily skin. The time right now is 7.45 and I'll be running some errands and I will check back in periodically like I'll check back in once and then probably around 12 midnight today to see how it does work on my ipad is three it's 10 33 and just about three hours over three hours uh, from when i put it on so uh, i do have some marks here uh, but these are a result of the the mask that i did where to go out so i can already see my oils peeping through if you can see it and it's separating a little bit right here right here right here and right here so but over here seems to be holding the oils are not coming it's just from right here that the oils are coming out so just to show you so far and I'll be back in another two to three hours for the final check-in. It's 104 right now. Um, final check-in. Uh, almost six hours from when I first uh, put on the foundation. And I'm going to come closer for you to see. So I can see the oils are really showing on my face right now. And there's some separation on my nose, on my forehead right here. I'm really oily on this area, down this area, and it's beginning to separate right around my smile lines and right around here. So yes, uh, it's not oil skin friendly. Um, it's for normal to dry skin. And that will be my final check-in for today. Okay, so my final thoughts on the Tom Ford foundation. I do like the foundation, very natural finish, glides on very well, no horrible smell. Um, 
some other stick foundations they do tug on your skin this doesn't do that so um, it is very good and it does cover um, I did put two uh, however one will do uh, but I did put two just for the wear test um, however, I do not think that this foundation is going to stay put for someone who has real, my skin is really oily. For someone who has oily skin like myself, um, I don't think it's going to stay. You would have to powder it, you know, during the day or something for it to stay put without separating. My oil, is, oil started showing at uh, the three hour mark. So, yeah. But it did say that it was for normal to dry skin so it's not really for it's not really made for oily skin so if you would like it yeah you'd have to powder until the next time leave your comments down below and let me know what you think about this um, about the foundation is it worth 88 dollars let me know what you think and until next time kisses